Let's with Sean start. My name is Kuroki. I'm a 40-year-old employee. I live with my wife, Akane, my oldest son, Akamatsu, and my oldest daughter, Karin. This looks so good! Akamatsu? How are things at school? Any different? Nope. My son, Akamatsu, is part of the basketball club in his middle school. He's recently been in his rebellious phase and hasn't been saying much to me. You're still just trying as hard as usual. You're gonna do great things at the state tourney. Yep. However, it looks like he takes it seriously. So I don't think there's a big problem here. I work hard too. Yeah, I know. Karin, the elementary schooler, is in the female soccer club and is coming up on a tournament. She's working hard for that day now. You guys gonna come home by and cheer for me? Of course we are. We're gonna bring you your favorite food for you to eat when we go too. I was surrounded by a lovely family, just like you could see. Yay! I feel a little bit of heaven on earth. Our household is as peaceful as you could possibly think. There wasn't anything that could possibly go wrong, but... Oh yeah, by the way, sweetie. Huh? Well, my coworkers at my part-time work want to all go for the drinks again next Friday. Is it alright if I go too? Again? Oh yeah, sure. Yay! Thank you! What should I wear? I get paid, so maybe it's time for me to start buying new clothes. The one thing that I was a little curious about was my wife, Akane. She and I have been married for over 20 years now, but she's still quite young looking, as you can tell. She's beautiful and has a great body. She works hard at work and chores, so there's nothing else that a husband could ask for. My wife is too incredibly attractive, so I'm always worried that she was going to go to someone else. Because look at how cute she is! There's no way that no man would flirt with her! She even kind of got flirted with at the meeting the other day, too. Akana chan, you're so cute! How about a taste of me? And after she started working at a different part time job, she started going out at night. And she really puts on some pretty aggressive and fancy makeup. We get along fine. And I feel bad for suspecting anything, but how can I not possibly be suspicious after seeing this beauty in front of me? What part of me does she even like? There's so many other men other than me! I would often think that there was some kind of ulterior motive behind her nightly parties because of my own insecurity. Hey, what part of me did you like when you married me? That again? I told you like several times already. The man that I dated before you was such a piece of shit loser, and compared to him, you look like a kind and amazing gentleman, so I fell for you. It's been like 20 years since we're married, and you're still asking me this question? I mean, yeah, but there are a lot of nice and kind gentlemen, you know? Why me? Ah! You're always so confident in everything, but the second it turns into something about me, you get all weak. I hate that you lack confidence in yourself when it comes to us. Sorry. But I love you, and seeing you being a little jealous and worried is cute, too. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on, we've got to get up early tomorrow, too. Let's go to bed. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Oh, she sees right through me. 20 years we've been married, and she's had me on the palm of her hand. Maybe that's why I'm able to feel safe. However, a few weeks later, this was when I was going to run into something that would blow away all of my worries. It happened one Saturday. Oh man, I was gonna be practicing all day today. 50% chance of rain. If it starts raining while you practice, the practice is off. You're supposed to come check up and watch us today. Oh, come on. Don't worry, we can just hang out at home and relax then. I'm heading to club. Yeah, take an umbrella. We should get going too. Yeah. What about you? What time do you get off work today? Hmm, probably around the afternoon. It might be nighttime. You go ahead and eat first if I don't get home at night. Okay, sure. Also, we're going to be eating after lunch, so we should be home as soon as we're done eating lunch. Okay, that's how Akamatsu went to his club, and Karin and Akane went to their club meets in elementary school. The house was empty. Let's see. Time for me to head out, too. There were a lot of things I had to finish before the month was over. So I went back into the office over the weekend to finish it all off. However... What?! It's already done?! Yeah, I'm sorry for making you come all this way, sir. I was going to cover the mistake of a new employee today, but... I knew I made a mistake yesterday and ended up screwing up your holiday. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I stayed up late at night to finish everything up. What?! She felt responsible for everything?! 
so she'd finished most of the corrections on her own? But that must have been so difficult. It was my fault to begin with. Anyway, I'm sorry for causing you the trouble. Is it alright if I ask you to just double check to confirm for me? Yeah, sure. You really don't have to be so hard on yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay, sorry about everything. I finished double checking and was heading home sooner than I had expected. It's still 11, huh? I wonder, with my extra time... Ah! I'm gonna go run and see Karin's practice as well! I'll run home and grab the camera first, though! <laughs> 30 minutes later... It's getting dark out. Crap! It's raining! It sucks! They might not have practice anymore. Whatever. I'll go check, just in case. Hmm? The door's unlocked. Is someone home? Huh? Men's shoes? They're not mine or Akamatsu's. And there are two pairs. What's going on? Who's over right now? <laughs> huh? What was that voice? It sounded like Akane! No way! No! It can't be! <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. No. She's with another man. No. She's with two other men. I knew I couldn't satisfy her. She wanted another guy. <laughs> no. First, I need to go check. Are you sure your husband isn't coming home today? Yeah, he shouldn't be home until night. He's such a silly man. Leaving alone a great woman like this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a lonely girl. So, I want you to make me feel less lonely today. Oh. Akane! Huh? Oh no, not here. What? Sorry about that, Akamatsu! Apparently, I had made a huge misunderstanding. That wasn't Akane. That was Akamatsu watching that kind of video with his friends and me overhearing the acting! Wait, hang on! That was... Stop it! This is not good! I saw something that someone that age really doesn't want their parents to see! What are you doing? Akane! Uh, no, it's nothing. I was just a little busy, you know? Get out of the way. Oh, uh, wait! Wow! Akamatsu, what the are you watching when you know your sister might walk in at any given moment? Don't be watching this in the living room like you own the house, you moron! Sorry! 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 Get out! Go home! Dad, what's going on? Why is Akamatsu in trouble? You know, there are some problems that you'll understand eventually. Afterwards, Akamatsu was chewed out for watching mature videos in the living room. I won't say that you should never watch it, but at least watch it in your own room. You should know that your sister might come home. Sorry, ma'am. By the way, the reason that Akamatsu was at the house doing that was apparently that all his friends were upset because the clubs were off today. Damn, I was not expecting this. Damn it. I walked all this way to school. Oh, how about this? We watch my dad's movie collection. Hell yeah! That's how plans quickly changed to a movie screening. His friend's house had people still home. So, I think no one's coming home till later today. They decided to watch the movie at home. And figures it was some kind of porno with cucking. Anyway, honey. Yes? You yelled my name when you walked into the living room. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, pretty clearly. You thought I was having an affair, didn't you? Didn't you? Sorry. I knew it. I go out to grab drinks with friends recently, so I thought you'd be suspicious. Here. Your phone? Just so you know I haven't done a single shady thing. You're free to look through it. You can even talk to my friends. What? No! I just... I was just being paranoid on my own. I'm really sorry. It's okay. As long as you understand, I'm okay with it. I just want to go out for drinks now that I have a little more freedom with the kids being out more, you know? Don't be all suspicious of me, okay? Yes, ma'am. Sorry for the disrespect. That's how my suspicions towards my wife completely vanished. Akamatsu probably caught the brunt of this whole event. Don't worry about it, man. You're a guy. It's normal to be interested. I'm sorry I wasn't able to actually, you know, figure it out. <laughs> it was just men's shoes. I don't know what got into me. Seriously, you should understand that Akamatsu's shoes were there too. I didn't see his shoes at all. I would never cheat on you. You're such a dummy. Sorry. 
I still want to work hard to make sure that you are attracted to me as a woman, too. I hate that you don't pick up on the signs. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. Anyway, you're going to be doing all the chores on the weekends this month to make up for your behavior. Okay. My wife scolded me. So I decided to stop suspecting her of any foul play after that day. However, until I saw what I saw and knew that she wasn't having an affair, I was thinking that there would be hell on earth. To my son, though? I'm sure it was hell on earth. I'm so sorry, Akamatsu. なんで自分を選んでくれたんだろうと定期的に不安になるのはわかります。しかし、それは自分を選んでくれた人に対して失礼なわけですから、もっと自分に自信をつけていかないとですね。それに考え込みすぎるくらいなら、最初から担当職業